dear students previous class we had explained about the importance of engineering materials and the properties of the engineering materials in this class we are discussing about the impact strength of engineering materials and calculate the impact strength and toughness of the material by conducting impact test so impact strength so impact strength is a strength of the material when the when the when load is placed to some certain from a certain distance and suddenly so in this strength we have two terms is there first one in impact load in loads that are suddenly applied and struck that is called impact load the strength is which the it is the ability of a material to resist the impact loads without fracture yes, so impact test is the best. for finding the impact strength we have to do the perform the impact test the okay we have to find the behavior of a material under dynamic load differ from their behavior under static or gradually increasing loads a metal may be very hard and strong but it may not be suitable to withstand the sharp blows generally the material performance vary with the rate of loading like strength toughness generally the material performance vary according to the rate of loading as such as strength and toughness so the material exhibits poor performance under dynamic and shock loads or the material exhibits poor performance under dynamic and shock loads so it is required to know the strength and toughness varies with the impact and shock loads the principle employed in impact test is that a material absorbs a certain amount of energy before it breaks or fractures the main the major principle to find the impact test is how much energy is absorbed by the material when the load is suddenly applied okay then therefore the quantity of energy absorbed is the main characteristic of the physical nature of the material so if it is uh, the brittle material we consider brittle material it breaks easily that means it, it absorbs uh, it absorbs lesser quantity of energy if the material is taken tough material it needs more energy for fracture that means it does not breaks easily the different methods of impact testing is there there are two types of impact testing are there that one sharp impact test first one is sharp impact test second one is eye impact test so these two are the very very key fundamental testing is conducted for find the impact strength so this is this diagram this diagram will give the clear idea about sharp impact test so this is a line diagram this this part is base so uh, this higher part is uh, vertical part is called column and uh, this column attached with a scale and it can it is also fixed with a uh, yes, hammer hammer handle hammer is attached to the scale with handle so and um, this the scale contains graduations in kilogram per millimeter uh, and the base we have having the annual placing the annual and the annual we have to place the work piece okay, so this is the work piece position we have to place such like this then we have to move the hammer some certain position then strike suddenly apply on the load so it will strike the first initial position is starting position is looks like this after removing the load on the work piece it will struck off the work piece at this portion now after striking the work piece it will move again right side again left side such a certain distance so this is the position of the end of the swing arm okay like this sharp impact test is conducted you have to remember that placing of the 
work piece placing of the work piece is like this we have to place the work piece in between two supports and we have to made a small groove on the work piece and uh, uh, hammer hammer position is uh, placed uh, against the opposite to the uh, <coughs> v groove okay so that is a uh, this is next thing is ajad machine so this is a another type of machine to find the impact strength so this is this diagram will give the preparation of specimen for charpy impact test preparation of specimen for charpy impact test so this the specimen is the dimension is this is 55 mm total length and uh, the width is 10 mm thickness is we have to groove at the center make groove in groove we have to make the center at an uh, angle of 45 degree up to a uh, end of 2 mm thickness next the thing is preparation of impact test specimen for ija test so in this test in this test we have to same Mm, consider the same parameters, but the length of the specimen is more. That is 75 mm. The width is as it is 10 mm. At uh, we have to make the grooves, two grooves at a uh, uh, top one. At top one is a one, and bottom one is one. Okay. So we have to make the two grooves. That is at uh, at 28 mm distance from left side. Right side and 46 mm distance from left side with angle of 45 degree and height is 2 mm. Okay, so this is the preparation of specimen for IJA test. So the next thing is to find the <coughs> to uh, consider the charp impact test procedure for charp impact test. Already I explained in the previous diagram. Pendulum swings on or after. Okay, so this diagram, the pendulum, whatever the pendulum is connected to the vertical column is there. That will be swings and the work piece, and it will be moved certain distance again due to the inertial force. It strikes the work piece and moves up the uh, left side. So then after breaking the specimen. Okay, so like that we are conducting the. Charge to impact test. So uh, the, the energy absorbed by the breaking specimen is calculated by using the relation E equal to W into H1 minus H2 kilogram meters. Okay. E equal to W into H1 minus H2 kilogram meters. Whereas W is weight of the pendulum. H1 is the height of all of pendulum. So what is H1? So this is the H1. So this is the H1. So for first initial position of the pendulum is calculated as H1. After <coughs> falling from certain height, moves to left side, the pendulum is called H2. So this is this distance from the anvil center position is H2. Whereas the distance from the center position is H1. Okay. So from that we you can calculate the Formula. Uh, you, can, you can calculate the energy absorbed by the specimen e equal to W into H1 minus H2 kilogram meters. Uh, w is the weight that is in kgs, and H1 is in meters. H2 is also in meters. Okay. So the correction factor for energy losses. Energy losses is uh, indicated with EF. That is find out by the formula E A minus G. Okay, energy factor equal to E A minus G. Where what is E A? E A is the energy, actual energy is absorbed by the specimen. Where E is the total energy of the specimen. Okay, so from that formula, how much energy is lost due to the movement of the pendulum from one point to another point can be found. Okay, so the from that you can find the total strength, the total impact strength. It equal to energy in fracture by cross section area of notch. Okay, you have to remember the formula. Write down the formula, by friends. So energy impact is equal to energy in fracture by cross section area to 
mass that is equal to e minus e f by a kilojoules per meter square. Okay. Neglecting the friction losses, if you neglect, okay, for small errors, if you neglect the friction losses, it is equal to e by a. It is equal to w into h one minus h two by a. Okay. So this is a formula used to calculate the impact strength of specimens. So when you apply for new machines with uh, different scales and different uh, pointers, it will give the direct reading when the specimen is when the hammer is moved from one point to another point. Okay. It is also this same formula is also used for conducting the IJAT test also. Okay. So this is about the. Uh, Topic of uh, conducting the charpy impact test. Okay. So in this period, we have calculated the conducting the charpy impact test and also IJAT test. So in IJAT test, also similar process, but the machine is different. So this is the observe here. This is the different machine IJAT testing machine. But uh, and another thing is we have to place the specimen. Have to place the specimen. As a simple supported beam, okay, and uh, we have to place the hammer uh, against to the V group, okay, against to the V group. That is the only two parts you have to remember for IJAT impact testing machine. Whereas for charpy, okay, for charpy you have to place opposite to the V group of the specimen. And uh, another thing is how to place the workpiece in simple, uh, simple supported position, okay. But in IJAT We have to place that in cantilever position. Okay, these two things are to remember for IJ test and sharp impact test. Okay. So the main points about this test is okay. So, so but the formula for both testing is. In, uh, w into h1 minus h2 by a. a. Area a is the area that is millimeter square. E is the energy. It is the w into h1 minus h2. You have to remember the formula. Okay, this is one formula you have to find. And uh, the, based on this formula, problem you have to do the some problems, important problems. Okay, the okay, next class you have to do some problems. I will give the assignment to you. Okay, some quiz questions. Is there? So you have to answer these quiz questions also by making a notes on the your paper and submit in the WhatsApp group. So these four questions is there. Five, five questions is there. Attempt these questions and submit the answers. First question is: What is the ability of material to resist transfer of loads without fracture? Okay. Second one, what is the shear test can be conducted on? Third question is: Is the shear test uh, the required clearance to load the specimen? Is next question is the principle employed in impact test is a material? Is it absorbs or releases? Next fifth question: The type of load applied on impact test is the type of load you can use. So they yeah, are write the answers and submit in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So this is about today's class. Doubts today, Babu? All right, participants. No, 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 just give us two days. Mukuru. Mukuru, Mukuru. ड्राइंग <laughs> 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 ड्राइंग फोटो ले उठे शेयर आज नहीं फोटो नहीं दो बट गीज फोटो तो बेस्ट है ना दिक्कत बेस्ट उठाएगा ना सेटिंग भी बाग आज तो बराबर है जो पता है बेस्ट है ये 
ఏంటి ఒకసారి చూద్దామని అంటే ఇది వస్తున్నట్టే అక్కడ పవర్ ఇస్తారు ఏం మన 